Namaste. This is Mani Tarugananda. I'm from your presence use. Today in this video, I would like to introduce the concept of restorative yoga, which is very different from the normal yoga that we usually practice because restorative yoga focuses on coming to a deep state of rest. And it is known as the antidote to stress. As you know that we live in a very highly stressful society, living in the information technology age. So everything is fast paced. Be able to relax is the art of living well. So let's come back to the difference between rest and sleep. See, in sleep, you still go through certain tension because when you're in a dream state, sometimes certain dreams cause tension even though you're sleeping. Whereas in a restorative yoga, you're actually having deep rest. The state of relaxation where there is no movement, no effort, and the brain is quiet. That is the main difference between restorative yoga and sleep. Especially when you live in a society where experience three levels of tension. We call it a threefold tension. One is muscular tension, and stiffness experienced in the muscle level. Then the second uh, tension is the emotional tension, which is very much related to feeling. And the last type of tension is mental tension, the you know the stress at the mental level. So these three level of tension disturb our body and the space. So it is very important that we learn how to use restorative yoga as an antidote to stress, especially for people who are going through a very, very period of life where they are experiencing many um, events, such as, you know, going through loss of loved ones, going through sickness, going through even a relationship uh, separation like divorce, all kinds of uh, stressful events in the one's life. So restorative yoga is actually a very good system to help everyone to basically learn how to come to the state of centering where you can deeply rest and be able to see things clearly once again. In fact, the researcher on the stress, they found that when you are able to deeply rest in a relaxed state, they notice at the physiological level, there is a reduction in the heart rate, slower breathing, lower metabolic rate, and as well as a very, very calm state of inner peace. So everybody should learn how to relax deeply. To me, this is a, like a survival skill, especially when living in the society. So basically, restorative yoga is coming to a state where there is action and inaction. What does it mean? Meaning you are resting in a static posture, supported by many, many yoga props, but inside a lot of happening, a lot of happening of relaxation, letting go is happening. That's what I mean by action in an inaction. That is very, very important because a lot of time when you do yoga practice and normal yoga practice, there's a lot of movement, action in the whole vinyasa, the whole practice. But in this case, it's you are actually doing very minimal yoga asana and put in a very deep state of rest supported where you feel totally relaxed and still, but the inner space experiencing a deep rest and letting go and basically balancing all the chemical reaction inside. And that is what we're trying to achieve with restorative yoga. Now, I'm going to introduce how restorative yoga works. See, Fundamentally, restorative yoga works on a few levels in reducing the chronic stress. At the very first level, it is about helping the individuals to come to the state of rest where you feel totally supported in an environment where you can truly relax. 
in a very deep way using the props of yoga. Second, it is able to help you to work on the entire spine. As you know that the spine is a very important structure where all the energy flows uh, go through the spine column. So the spine is able to relax and also stretch in a way during the restorative yoga posture. So the spines get stretched in different directions, which is very important for the health uh, of the spine. Third, in any restorative yoga sequence, we also incorporate certain inversion. Inversion could be as simple as resting the legs against the wall, which helps in many, many, uh, you know, reversal of like water retention, blood flow to the upper extremity, all that will help to strengthen the internal organs and the energy flow of the body. And also in a restorative yoga, it helps to balance the prana, see the different level of prana, the prana which is the upward movement and the apana which is the downward movement of the vayu, the air elements. So when in the restorative yoga, we are able to incorporate the sequence of the poses to balance the energy flow within the body, which aids in not only uh, inducing a deep state of rest, but also healing the process of healing, triggering the healing, natural healing ability of the body. So as a result, restorative yoga can help um, put everyone in a very deep state of silence. See, my guru, he say that to rest, as if you infuse more and more silence into the body, into the inner space, healings happen. So, as also Yoga Sutra Patanjali says that Spiram Sukham Asana, the posture should be comfortable and stable. So, when you are in the restorative yoga, you're in a very, very comfortable state. And you're stable. So that leads to a very deep state of rest and awareness. So that's how, in essence, restorative yoga helps individuals to recover, whether it's in sickness or going through different difficult times of their life, stressful uh, periods of their life, and also help each individual to balance again the energy and come back uh, in a stronger more powerful space.